working, trying to help the quail population. They always been here, and I don't want to leave. I got about 925 acres up here that I make for take care of. I enjoy doing it. We started buying this in 99. It took 10 years to buy what we got. It's just been working in progress for the last 20 years or so. We already had a lot of fire breaks. We, I tried to burn where I have roads already, and then I go around and freshen them roads up every year where we're going to burn to use for fire breaks. We put in probably a couple miles of fire breaks other than what we had already. We put in, matter of fact, we put in two this year right at a mile long with both of them, getting ready to burn some more later on in the year. And, uh, but I always try to use my roads as my far break, then that's giving me an excuse to rework my roads every time I burn that area. I go through and regrade them, and luckily enough, I got a dozer up here, so that makes my work a whole lot easier with it. I probably first met Mr. Cooper around 2011 or 12, and his actual first contract was in 13 with the Wildlife Habitat Incentive Program. And uh, since then, he has uh, been funded through EQIP, which is the Working Lands for Wildlife Program, and CSP, the Conservation Stewardship Program. And with owning so many acres, we have taken portions of it and tried to improve it a small areas at a time. I've tried to get it on a burn cycle. That way he's not burning all his acreage all at once, burning, like he said, anywhere from 40 to 100 acres a year. Um, not the same spots. We try to try to get it on a cycle. And not burning the whole place at one time, just doing patchwork, uh, creating a diversity through, through burning, which will create different plant communities. Doing native grass seedings, pollinator seedings, timber stand improvement. Uh, just making it more open out here uh, to provide uh, great habitat for brooding, uh, for nesting, and then also winter cover through creating brush piles, uh, things like that. Galen is very open-minded. He had so many acres that I knew NRCS only would not benefit him. And by working with all of our partners and getting them involved, uh, he's been able to improve 900 plus acres. A lot of the landowners up here have anywhere from 100 to 150 basal area, and that's 50% more than what you need. You want it down to a 60 to 80 for wildlife, uh, something open that grasses and forbs can grow underneath. Then I got four live creeks on this place that runs year round. So I got plenty of water. People look at for wildlife better now than they ever have, I think, as far as benefiting other things. The more you do for the quail, the better it's gonna be for the rabbits, for the turkeys, for the deer. They live together. If one person does it, it seems like there's more people joins in and helps do it. By me doing it, it enticed the rest of them to do a little bit Galen has been a very good role model, even though he may not think he has been, because a lot of times when neighbors see what you're doing, they want a part of it. The things that he does here, you know, like they were saying, you know, other people see that and they see that, hey, this, this can be done, you know. You know, sometimes people might think that quail are too far gone to, to really do something, but, you know, the work that he's doing here is kind of, you know, it's proof that, that it's, 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 you know, we're able to do this. We're working with the Arkansas Forestry Commission, uh, Pheasants Forever, Arkansas Game Fish Commission. Uh, Galen has been able to improve his place uh, tremendously, and he has just accepted all of us and been very open-minded in the practices that we have suggested. The less hunting you do on them, the better it's gonna be far as bringing them back. We got a stepdaughter that's 25 now. Me and her, she was up here last Saturday. Me and her went and rode the whole farm and seeing turkeys, quails, and, and they just enjoy seeing the wildlife. Just a place to come relax as much as anything anymore.